Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Arrow Season 7 Episode 13 called the Star City Flyer. So we start off with someone is developing film, some stalker. They had Dean at work and got another note and it was written on a typewriter to all of Team Arrow basically. So they kind of flit in and out of the stalker doing what he's doing and everything that's happening. <clears throat> and then you see the whole stalker wall. And then we cut to where William comes clean and basically short version is he got into a fight and then he calls it Oliver for abandoning him and storms off. Then we have a flash, flash forward scene where they hit roadblocks and they can't find the weapons at all. So they go to the bunker and they got carried by a bunch of knockout darts basically. And then we have to go back to the present day where Diggles shows Curtis um, the note and he's already got people on that but that's not really why he was there. And they're trying to find Dante and so they're making a, a bunch of um, leads to try to find him and making significant progress and then we find out that Curtis has been offered a new job in DC. Then we cut to where Dina is training Zoe and she's actually doing really good and then Dina talks to Renee and she's worried about things changing in terms of her um, being the, the captain of the, the um, SCPD. And then we cut to um, then they discuss the letters and then we cut to where the, um, this guy off this man named Collins and then um, the police are there and they got like everything and then Dina says she might have a connection so she calls Captain Singh in Central City. Then we gonna have another flash forward scene where um, Black Star punches William and wants answers. Then we go to the present day where Diggle offers a um, job upgrade and a pay upgrade, and so he'll think about it and let Diggle know. Then we cut to where Dina talks to Singh and it kind of pops her up, and then they talk about the case. And then we cut to where Felicity talks to William, and then Oliver comes home, and then we have someone's at the door, and it's not recognizable in the um, the database of who's allowed to come into the the, um, the room. And at first I thought I was like, oh my god, oh my god, it's a bad guy, but it was um, Clayton's um, parents, grandparents. Or William's grandparents, the Claytons. Sorry. <laughs> and we found out that William called them. And so the grandparents chew Oliver out. And Oliver gets kind of mad about it. Because <laughs> they want to contest everything. And make them the legal guardian, guardian of William. And not Oliver and Felicity. And then we're going to go to a flash forward scene. Where Dinah knows um, who one of the people are. One, who one of the people is. And that is Connor Hawk. <laughs> and then we cut to the present day where Oliver gets um, stern with William. And that does not go well at all. And then we cut to where Dina is bringing everything together. It's starting to put the pieces together. And they uh, tracked up this um, this drug that's, supposed to, that's causing everything <clears throat> to happen. And it's at a creepy house in the glades. And it's hashtag I cannot deal with this mess. I hated that part. And we found out. So basically, um, they open up this closet. It has a slab side jacket in there. And I already put two and two together. And it's Oliver's old cellmate. Or prison buddy. Yeah. And so, uh, Dina got slashed, but she'll be okay thanks to Curtis with this new technology that was able to quickly, um, patch things up until she could go to the hospital. And then we have Oliver's angry and lashes out and kind of just vents off to Felicity about everything. We have a flash forward scene where Black Star said Felicity is alive and Zoe doesn't believe that crap and questions William. And then we have a huge fight scene, and then we end up at a standstill. And the fight scenes were incredible in that. I really enjoyed that one. And then we have the present day where Oliver can't move along with the rest, so they were eating chili and um, 
now they can't move and then what's the stupid name Stanley so Stanley wants to talk that's all he wanted to do no he mm -hmm. and then he kind of goes a little postal went off or says Slayer and then he comes down a little bit then said people want to hurt him and basically he's just lost his mind he's going off on all these stupid tangents like just crazy stupid tangents and basically we found out that he offed his parents and brother and now he's going to post on Oliver then Felicity really angers him saying that he's worse than his dad and they start to get a little bit of feeling back because they were paralyzed and Oliver knocked him out with um, a old, well, with a glass bottle. And then we found out that Oliver is going to be okay. Stanley's going back to Slapside. And then Curtis is going to DC and says goodbye to everyone. And he's going to give his shares of Helix to Felicity. Then Oliver talks to William and lets him choose between going home with him or going with his grandparents and he chooses his grandparents saying I think I'll be a little bit more normal there in Central City. I was like well maybe a touch better but Central City though. And then we cut to a flash forward scene. Oh then um, when they're saying goodbye um, when Williamson was going goodbye uh, Felicity gets a phone call from the doctor and then we go to a flash forward scene where Black Star is, is Nina Smoke, which is Felicity's daughter and William's half brother. Uh, what? And that's in the episode. So basically, she finds out she's pregnant, and then we go to the flash forward scene. So, oh, snap. So, um, really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I give it a, a minus. I do not like. Stanley at all. That was my only gripe about this episode. Literally the only one in the creepy ass house. It was a little too creepy for me. But other than that, it was a really good episode. Really enjoyable and super fun to watch. The fight scenes were good. And the whole bombshell. Because Emily uh, Records, Records, I don't know how to pronounce her last name that great, um, made it seem like, like she was not having going to have the baby like until like far 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 into the future so that was kind of you know she knew she knew but anyway it was really good I really enjoyed it and that's going to do it for this episode so if you enjoyed this episode please go to like comment down below tell me what you think do you agree disagree just send me your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye everybody